Put on. Use those arms for a bit of a counterbalance. <laughs> there you go. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to the wobble. There you go, that's good. Looking solid straight away. That's really good. Now what I want you to do is if you do come down at all, if you start to fall, I want you to hit the ground and try and bounce back up. See that? So try not to sort of plan and fall down. Try and go from here and fall in, little bounce, try and bounce straight back up. I'm falling backwards, little bounce, and try and hold it as often as you can. Here you go. There's a ball there. So the same thing, we're getting up into that balance position, and then we're just going to swing as if we're kicking the ball. Now what will happen is as you swing forward, your body's going to rock back a little bit and start to do that. So you've got to count the balance. As the leg swings forward, you're trying to hold your balance. So we're swinging like this, and if you start to fall, same again, we bounce back up, get the balance back, and once your balance feels like it's set, you have to swing, and swing, and just have a few of those, yeah? slightly down and I'm going to be trying to kick through it like that. Just hold it a little bit lower so it's just below the height you need. So then what I'm doing is stepping back, going kick, trying to kick through with the toes pointing down. Yeah? So if I kick it with the toes up like that, it's going to be a bad one. I'm trying to do the ankle flex so with the toes down. You got it? I'll be in your position, you'll be in my position. What I don't want you to do is like kick, kick, and you see how my left foot's not moving. When you kick it, step back, go up, up, kick. Alright? The main thing we're looking for is that when my pad's like that, your toes are at the same angle. I'm trying to strike up through it. Yeah? Let's give it a try. Try and almost leave the corridor. Come on, go through it. Laces through it, toes down, ankle flexed. Nice, that was a good one. There was a little bit of backspin on that one, Seb. Try and strike the ball a little bit higher up. So look where the centre line of the ball is, right around the equator, right through the middle. Better. Got that a little bit on the right hand side, let's try and tighten it up again, go right through the middle. Nice. Not bad. All right. Keep it down. There's part of your foot in that hip. I think it hit the inside of your foot there. Talks about before, 
said with uh, hovering that foot just a little bit. If your toes are dragging along the grass, you're always going to get a bit of height. Hover the foot just a little bit, just a couple of inches off the floor, and we we'll get more through the middle. Ready? Through the middle, toes down. Nice! straight away that it's wrong. Whereas sometimes when you're a kid, you're doing stuff and it's going wrong and you think, I don't know why that was such a bad shot. That shot was rubbish, but I don't know why. At least now, when you do a bad one, you know why it's a bad one. Forwards, I don't touch it. I step out the line of this, then you can finish. Yeah? Don't touch it to get to the side. Move your body to the side. Big roll, step out the line of it. Anything narrow, you can see it. Nice! 